Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCrory and this is Would You Make It? In this video I want to talk about my top five uses for CA glue. If you're not sure what that is, CA stands for cyanoacrylate and that's probably even more confusing. So it's commonly known as super glue and you've probably used that in the past to glue together a broken piece of pottery or something like that. The CA glue that I like to use is from Starbond. It's the freshest CA glue on the market and that's because they only manufacture it in small quantities so that it doesn't sit on the shelf in the store for a long period of time. So let's get started. My first use for CA glue and probably the one I use most often is attaching brass to wood. And I do that when I'm attaching a brass border around my chess boards. I used to use epoxy and that works fine, but it's fairly messy and it takes a lot longer for the epoxy to cure. With CA glue, when combined with the accelerant, it only takes minutes. And then a few minutes later I can clean it up on the table saw. One important thing to remember when running this through a drum sander is that if the brass gets too hot, the CA glue will release. So you want to make sure you have very light passes through the drum sander and allow the brass to cool between passes. My number two use for CA glue is to make double-sided tape to hold small pieces in place when I'm using my CNC router. I use regular painter's tape on each piece that I want to glue together. And then I put CA glue on one piece and put the accelerant on the other piece and then stick them together. You can see that it has a lot of holding power because I need to pry the piece off after it's completed. My number three use for the CA glue is as a final finish for chess pieces. The Starbond CA glue comes in three viscosities and for finishing chess pieces you can use either medium or a thin viscosity. It takes multiple coats to get a good finish with light sanding in between. My fourth use for CA glue is to fill voids and cracks in wood. And the Starbond CA glue comes in three different colors, clear, brown, and black. And these colors come in very handy when filling different colors of wood. If you're close to the edge, you can create a little dam with a piece of tape. And then it just takes a little bit of sanding at the end to make it blend in. The black CA glue is perfect for filling in a void in ebony. And after sanding, you would never know that the void had been filled. 
My fifth and final use for CA glue is to glue together window and door casing. After cutting the mitered corners at exactly 45 degrees, that ensures that I get a 90 degree corner. I've been working in a pretty dusty environment recently, so I clearly have to clean the sensor on my camera because you can see all those black dots. I can assemble the casing away from the window and then just install it without having to wait for wood glue to dry. So that's it, my top five uses for Starbond CA glue. Thanks for watching.